Gus Johnson along with Chris Collinsworth welcome to a delightful day at the Ralph Ralph Wilson Stadium here in Orchard Park New York happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase the Bills playing on their home field and they want to be able to keep this advantage going as we get ready for this one Chris what is the key in this matchup well, and I think you hit on it, Gus, the home field advantage, because these two teams obviously match up very well against each other. So as the home team, you're hoping that you can sort of incite your own fans and get that energy in the building, because in a game this close, that well could be the difference. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. Lindell gets set to kick it away. It's fielded at the two. He makes it to the 22. Number 33 was there to bring him down. They'll start at the 22-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Rice gets the carry. He's tackled around the 27-yard line by Edwards. from their own 27-yard line. Rice will run it again. He's wrestled down at about the 29-yard line by Puzlozny. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They'll throw for the first. Throws to his left. And the pass is incomplete. Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during the last series. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. So, it's fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here as the punt. Spiller will take off at the 31. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. From their own 35-yard line. Drop behind the line. 
Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Second and long situation. Passes out to the left. The defender bats it away. Third down, 14 yards for the first. He's looking over the top. At the 30. The quarterback is having some success with this matchup. What do you see here, Chris? Well, after a big gain like that, the quarterback may try to target this guy for really the rest of the game. It'll be interesting to see how this matchup progresses now that he's found a bit of an opening. First and ten once again after the big gain through the air. Has a man out to his right. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line by Wilson. Well, if you want to know why they measure the vertical jump at the combine, that's exactly it. He just went up and got that one. I still haven't figured out why they do it for offensive linemen, though. Second down and five to go. The ball sits on the 21. Jackson takes the give. He's dropped down right around the 18-yard line by Greg. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. They pitch it. He's brought down at about the 13-yard line by Lewis. And we'll have a first down and 10. On the delay. He's tackled around the eight yard line by Zibikowski. And just seven yards from a touchdown now. Inside give. He's wrestled down around the five-yard line by Suggs. And it's third and goal from the four with the lead within reach. Short throw to the left. And he's tackled just outside the goal line by Kendall. Getting closer to the goal line inside the five now. Ball on the one yard line. Moves left to avoid the rush. Yeah. 
That brings up second down and goal. He gets another carry. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback blocked is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. So here we go. It's third and goal from the one as they look to break the tie. Short throw to the right. He's got it! Touchdown! When you have a receiver with that kind of ability, just give him a chance to work one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He'll take care of the rest. Lindell hits the PAT. It's now a seven-point game. Buffalo is up a touchdown. Lindell looks ready to kick it away. Carr stands back to field the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. He makes it out to the 20. Nelson was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. He's looking towards the left side. And when you throw a football that hard, it just leaves no margin for error because there's no room for the wide receiver to make an adjustment. On their own 20-yard line. going to be tackled for a loss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Third down, 11 yards for the first. Flips it out short to his left. The Bills came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. From their own 24-yard line. the flag and we're going to have our first penalty the stop was made by Washington and I have a feeling this one is coming back that seemed like a pretty obvious hold yeah sometimes you have holding and sometimes you have tackling that was a pretty good form tackle right there pass is short right side
from their own 31-yard line. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. That penalty will move them back a bit. Sloppy play right there. The one thing you learn as an offensive player is you can't give away yards. They are just too hard to come by. Jackson takes it up the middle. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. They're going for the home run. It's knocked down. Excellent play by the defender. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Well, and there is some cumulative effect of those three and out series because they do tend to wear out your defense, which has to come right back out on the field now. It's fourth down. The Bills are lining up to punt this one away. Wilson takes it at the 28. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Pitch out. He doesn't get back to the line. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball is on their own 33. Steps and throws to the left side. He's dropped down around the 46-yard line by Bird. First down and 10. Ball on their own, 46. Tosses it out. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Whitner. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on their own, 46. Goes through his progression. He picks it off. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him, but... When you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. Searching for an open man. Dumps it out left. I tell you, as a defense, you don't mind giving up a little dinky throw like that to the tight end. That's good defense. Second down and eight here. They spot it at the 42. Jackson takes the delayed handoff. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. 
And if you have a top flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. They line up at the 43. Still looking for an open man. He's going to his right. Throws. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line by Wilson. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. He rolls out to the right. And they get to him. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play. Huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. Nakamura gets it at the 23. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Fires a strike to the right. He's wrestled down around the 38-yard line by McGee. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Rice gets a handoff to the right. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by Kelsey. Second down, eight yards to go. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, our score, seven, nothing. Welcome back to Orchard Park. It's a second and eight situation now. Ball on their own, 39. Flacco, pitch out. There's the stiff arm. He's dropped down around the 42-yard line by Kelsey. Now they'll face a third and six situation. Coverage downfield. Has a man to his right. Pick up a five on the play. Fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. The ball goes into the end zone. Touchback. He'll take over at the 20. The offense will take over at the 20. It's first and 10. Hey. 
Throws middle of the field. He's brought down around the 33-yard line by Suggs. from their own 33-yard line. Surveys the field. Has a man out to his right. Ryan Fitzpatrick was simply trying too hard that time. He got a little excited and let that ball get away from him. That's something that you'll see from inaccurate passers from time to time. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. He's searching for a receiver. He's tackled around the 47-yard line by Lewis. And we'll have a first down and 10. He lost yardage on the play. The Bills are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. So they'll face a second and 10. Throws to his left. He's wrestled down at about the 33 yard line by Reed. First down, 10 to go. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. ball Buffalo is able to fall on it the defense makes a great hit forces the fumble but you know the coach will tell him that he has to hang on to the ball you got to guess no coach wants to see his player ever fumble and to be honest the quickest way to get knocked out of the NFL is to keep giving up the football you simply cannot do it is out to his right and he drops the short pick Nelson was the intended receiver on the play They need nine on this third down if they want to convert. Ball on the 33-yard line. Has a man short to his left. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line by Zibikowski. There's an injury. Looks like a Bills player.
They'll start at the 14. Rolling to his left. He's dropped down around the nine-yard line by Washington. Yeah, I like going with the play-action pass in that situation. They caught the defense cheating a little bit, completed it for a good pickup. And they need just eight for the score. Give to the tailback. Watch out. Touchdown! What a run that was. He was trapped behind the line of scrimmage. It looked like he was going to go down for a big loss. Instead, he breaks the tackle and runs it in for the touchdown. Ryan Lindell tacks on the extra point. Lindell looks ready to kick it away. Carr stands back to field the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. And the tackle was made by number 33. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll start at the 18-yard line. First down and 10. On the ground, up the middle. He fights forward to about the 20. Alex Carrington was there for the stop. It's second down and eight to go. Ball is on the 20. Hold on, there is a flag down. Dropped behind the line. And that flag was thrown in the neighborhood of holding. It looked like he got a handful of jersey on that one. Yeah, I thought so too. And, and even though you hold with your hands, so often holding penalties come from not moving your feet. And you could see here, his feet simply never were in position to make the play. He hasn't had a good first half at all. Just can't seem to get through this defense. Third down and 15. The Rock is on their own 13. McGahee gets it on the inside. The stop was made by Alex Carrington. So, it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Spiller picks it up at the 46. Washington was there to bring him down. Washington appears to have been injured on the play.
Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Jackson gets the carry. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Second down and seven yards to go. Jackson on the run. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, 11 yards for the first. They spot it at the 48. Going down the middle with it. It's almost picked off. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. It's fourth down. The Bills line up to punt. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. You would have to think that this is where they need to make something happen in order to get back into this one. The offense will start at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. They tackle him for a loss. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that, not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Second down and 15 to go. Flacco with the pitch, hit and drop behind the line. They'll need 15 on this third down to move the chains. Ball on their own 15. Short throw to the right. The Bills came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. It's fourth down. And the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. Spiller will take it at the 35. He makes it out to about the 47-yard line. LaRon McLean was there for the stop. And we'll have a first down and 10. Fitzpatrick hands off on the delay. And the tackle was made by Corey Redding. Second down and five to go. Jackson gets the call. He's brought down at about the 43-yard line by number 53. Oh, 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Looks for the safe short throw. He's tackled around the 38-yard line by Lewis. They line up at the 38. Dumps it out left. Great call. You got to love the screen. And those screen passes are getting tougher and tougher to complete in the league because defensive linemen now are doing such a great job of reading those offensive linemen as they try and slip out there on the screen. First down and 10. Gives it right side. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. And with that, the two-minute warning is reached. They'll face second down and 10. Two minutes left in the half. Looks to throw. It's a jailbreak. Another sack by the defense. And you have to expect that this pressure, Chris, they're generating is going to have an effect on the way he plays. Yeah, absolutely, Gus. This guy is known for being a mobile quarterback, so don't be surprised if we see him try to tuck and run next time they get some pressure on him in the backfield. So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. Spiller on the give. He's wrestled down around the 29-yard line by Landry. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is good. So the score now, the build, 17. The visiting team, nothing. Ryan Lindell is ready to kick this one off. Wilson is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 22. Motes was there to bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 22-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Tucks and runs. He's free. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line by Puzlesny. 
That seemed like a pretty obvious hold. Yeah, sometimes you have holding and sometimes you have tackling. That was a pretty good form tackle right there. Short pass to his left. We've got a second and long situation. He's going deep with it. Joe Flacco let that one get away. He has a great arm, but sometimes he'll still miss those deep balls. We've got a third and long here. Here's a halfback. He's dropped down right around the 16-yard line by Kelsey. Fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here as the punt. Spiller will start running at the 39. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. He throws short. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. Nelson was the intended receiver on the play. from their own 43-yard line. Looks left, loads it up. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Decides to run. He finds a lane. He's brought down around the 48-yard line by Zibikowski. Fourth down. The Bills ready to punt this one away. That'll be it for the first half of play. The score is 17-0. Bills.
Welcome back to Orchard Park. We'll have to see how both teams respond as the second half kickoff is just seconds away. He'll return it from the one. Gets it to the 21. Zibikowski was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. It's first and 10. Looking for a big game down the middle. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line by Reed. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. And we'll have a first down and 10. deep throw he's wrestled down right around the 22 yard line by Reed And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. Fitzpatrick tosses it left. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line by Suggs. We've got second and nine yards to go. Fitzpatrick hands it off straight ahead. Drop behind the line. And we have a flag on the play. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Spiller takes it up the middle. He's dropped down at about the 21 by Greg. It's third down, nine yards to go. The ball sits on the 21. Short throw to the left. He's brought down right around the 16-yard line by number 53. This field goal attempt will be about a 33-yarder. They might have missed time to snap on that one. And that just kills you as a coach. There's just no excuse for making that kind of a penalty on fourth down. It's up and it's good. And with that, the score is the build. 20, the visiting team, nothing.
Lindell is just about ready to kick this one away. Wilson stands back to field the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. Motes was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 17. First down, 10 to go. Dumps it out right. So they'll face a second and ten. Steps and throws to the left side. It's broken up by the defender. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Flips it out short to his left. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. By Merriman. Might have an injury down on the field. They go from their own 26-yard line. Spiller gets the ball at the 27. He makes this one back to the 35. Laron McLean was there for the stop. First down and 10. Rolling out to his right. Number 80 throws it out to the right. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by Johnson. Number 80 picks up about five yards with the catch. Second and five coming up here. The ball is on their own 40. Jackson gets the ball. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. From their own 38-yard line, Still looking for an open man. Has a man to his right. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. It's fourth down. The Bills lining up to punt. Wilson gets it at the 23. 
He makes it out to the 36. Moats was there to bring him down. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line by Merriman. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 28. Rice will run it again. He's dropped down around the 40-yard line by number 21. from their own 40-yard line. They're going to pitch it. He's brought down right around the 42-yard line by Whitner. So the Rock sits at the 42. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's tackled around the 46-yard line by McGee. That reception is good for a gain of four. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws to his left. He's wrestled down around the 35-yard line by Whitner. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 35. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled right around the 30-yard line by Kelsey. It's now second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hands it to the back. He's dropped down around the 27-yard line by Edwards. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Flips it out short. First down. Ten to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Hands it off. He's brought down around the 20-yard line by Ellison.
Brings up second and nine. Rice gets the call again. He's tackled around the 14-yard line by Edwards. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Fires a laser down the middle. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. First down, goal to goal. Ten yards to the end zone. Pass is short right side. He's wrestled down at about the nine-yard line by Kelsey. Number 33 picks up about a yard with that completion. They're now threatening inside the 10. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. And it's so embarrassing to jump off sides for an offensive player because you know the snap count. But I swear there's so many things going through your mind, especially if the guy across from you is beating you in the head all day. Sometimes you just forget. McGahee gets the carry. The stop was made by Alex Carrington. It's a gain of three. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short gain. So they are now on the 11. Has a man out to his right. The ball is tipped away. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. The field goal unit is on the field. And he makes it. Baltimore gets ready to kick it away. McKelvin is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He makes it to the 22. Zibikowski was there for the stop. They'll go to work at the 22. First down and 10. Someone jumped early down there. Well, that's more than a little humiliating for an offensive lineman. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to hide after one of those. And, yeah, they know national television is going to be talking about them as well. Jackson gets it on the inside. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line by Landry.
from their own 23-yard line. He's going to run for it, and he's got a own. Seems like the defensive pressure has him a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, it does. certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 23. Welcome back to Orchard Park. The Bills have possession as we begin the fourth quarter and can put this game out of reach with a score on this drive. The give to the tailback. He's dropped down around the 36-yard line by Suggs. Second down, eight yards to go. Ops for a short throw. He's brought down at about the 47-yard line by Reed. It's first and ten. The halfback with the carry. We've got second and nine yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He passes the line of scrimmage. He's tackled around the 30-yard line by Lewis. And we'll have a first down and 10. Fires a strike to the right. He's wrestled down right around the 10-yard line by Landry. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 10. Passes it short. The pass falls incomplete. So, now they're just 10 yards away. He's dragged down on the play. Get 
tough situation for the offense after the sack. They're going to need a long 13 to convert. Feeds it to the back. What about that play call? Well, I always like to see an offense stay aggressive, I guess. But at least in this situation, it's a fourth quarter. You have the lead. I can understand the call. They call on the field goal unit. The kick is good. So that will make the score. The Bills, 23. The visiting team, 3. Buffalo will be kicking off. Foxworth stands back to field the kick. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He gets out to the 28-yard line. Number 84 was there to bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 28-yard line. First down and 10. Looking, fires it to the left. And he's tackled at about the 35-yard line by Puzlozny. Short throw to the right. He's dropped down around the 47-yard line by Bird. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Has a man short to his left. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. They'll face second down and 10. Ball is on the 47. Dumps it out left. He's brought down at about the 39-yard line by Bird. Well, they got away with that one. Really not a very good play throwing back across your body like that, but <laughs> every once in a while you'll sneak that in. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Flacco hands it off. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just blowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. Short throw to the left. He's tackled right around the 40-yard line by number 21. They'll start at the 40. It's first and 10. Hey. 
They hand it off. He's wrestled down around the 41-yard line by Kendall. It's second down and nine to go. Here's a halfback. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line by Kendall. We've got a third and six. Here's a screen pass. He's dropped down around the 50-yard line by Brown. Always like that play call. Get the ball out to one of your playmakers. Give them a chance in the open field. Pretty good game that time. So, it's fourth down. The Bills line up to punt. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. So, Chris, what does this offense have to do to get them back into this game? The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Number 34 takes a handoff. Passing in this situation seems like it would have been a good idea. Passing in every situation seems to me like it would be a better idea. But when you have the clock working against you like this, it's time to put it up. Yeah, when you have an arm like that, you'd have confidence too. This guy thinks he can get it into anywhere. from their own 39-yard line. They might have missed time to snap on that one. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Surveys the field. Yeah, it wasn't close because the big guy was giving him a whack just as he let that one go. He was really under some pressure that time. Second down now with a long 15 to go. Throws it deep, left side. Joe Flacco is not the most accurate passer in the league. He lets balls get away from him sometimes, and uh, occasionally they're fairly easy completions. And it's third and a long 15. Has a man to his right. He's brought down around the 39-yard line by number 21. Looks like they're going for it here on fourth down. Tons of pressure. He's hit as he throws. 
I can't really second guess the call on the part of the offense there. They really felt like they needed to keep this drive alive, just didn't get it done. The offense will start at the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Fires a laser down the middle. He's tackled right around the 30-yard line by Suggs. Well, that's exactly what you need to do when the defense is blitzing. Get rid of it in a hurry. If you've got a shot at a completion, nice read that time. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Dumps it short. Say a 0 2 2 with his fourth catch of the game. They line up at the 27. Spiller gets the carry. Haloti Nada was there for the stop. A gain of six. And just about four yards away here on second down. And so we've reached the two-minute warning. And that makes it second and four yards to go. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Spiller gets the call. And he'll lose yardage on the play. Flag on the play. And this one looks like it's going to come back. And I really didn't see the hold there. You're starting to sound more like an offensive lineman every day, Gus. You know, the reality is there really is holding on every single play, but the rule changes now allow for guys to grab within the framework of the body. You just can't reach outside that framework. So it's third and 14 to go. Ball on the 31. Spiller gets another carry. A conservative call on third down, Chris. Yeah, but you do gamble if you put the ball in the air in that situation. I think right now the coach is saying, I have more faith in my defense to make some stops than my offense to convert that play. And they'll attempt the field goal. This one from about 46 yards out.
It's up and it's good. Makes the long one with room to spare. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Lindell is just about ready to kick this one away. Foxworth is back to receive the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out to the 20. Number 84 was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 20. First down and 10. Flips it out short. Intercepted, and this game is all but over. And the tackle was made by Todd Heath. The Bills get pick number two of the game. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball sitting at the 26-yard line. Fitzpatrick gives it up the middle. That'll do it from Buffalo. Highlights are next, so stick around. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game, 